I got good at wasting time I think I got good at just counting days I think I got great at your goodbye And repurposing the nights to dull the pain How could I know you don't care How could I assume that all so when I'm not there, how could you stay? How could you dare? Am I just a girl that ran after a man with the shoes out together again? I got good in double lives I think you got good at just sex and shame I think you got great in my goodbye And maybe even like that rush of pain How could I girl that ran after a man with her shoes tied together again
Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this amazing Saturday evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to There's No Place Like Home, Artspan's annual juried art auction. Really, it's been a crazy time. We're so happy you're here with us because art matters more than ever because we've been in our homes and we have been with the art we purchased, with the artists that we admire and got to know perhaps or just bought it someplace. And really, this is the time to celebrate arts because art matters more than ever. And thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for bidding. Um, we are raising money to support Artspan, which is an organization in San Francisco that helps support artists. We have done a lot during the pandemic to continue to support artists in really significant ways. I wanna let you know that we have had some fierce bidding already all week long, and we have already raised $93,000, which is so amazing. We will be able to continue to do our programming to help 1,400 artists. We had 48 exhibitions this past year, all virtual during the pandemic to make sure artists are still seen and appreciated. And we are also raising money for Onondaga Art Center. That's what we're doing here. Thank you for being here. We really, really, really appreciate it. There are so many people that have supported board members and friends and family and long time lovers and supporters of the arts in San Francisco. So thank you all for being here. We see you, we appreciate you and our hearts are open wide for you. So as you know, there's no place like home. It's a little bit of a spin on The Wizard of Oz because we've all been home and you know everyone that was sent off into the Emerald City was looking for something. And I think we've all found things we didn't know we all had all along. We have found our hearts, we have found our courage, we have found our minds or lost them and got them back. And then we appreciate home more than ever, thanks to Dorothy on her path that came back to where she began. And you're here with us and we really appreciate it. And here we are to talk about supporting art by buying work from artists that you appreciate and putting it in your home. And the most important thing is you understand that we're going to go through a quick 10 live auction lots. The silent bids are happening all along. We're gonna close them later. We're actually gonna go offline. You have until 9.45 for the very last lot to close. But for now, we're going to have some live lots that are gonna be closed pretty quickly. They've been open all week. And it turns out we've actually already sold a couple at Buy It Now, which is the first time in our span history, which is really, really amazing. So if you think you're gonna bid on any of the things you see, please make sure to pay attention because we are going to be closing these on a time we announce. We're not gonna be doing a live auction bid because we are in the future from where you are because the way the internet streams, there is a delay. Two seconds, 10 seconds, 20, 30, depending on where you are in the world, and what device you're on. So we recommend make sure you're watching this feed on a device that is probably a computer and then make sure you have the device more like a phone or an iPad or tablet to be doing your bids because we're going to go quickly and fiercely through 10 lots, although really it's only eight because two have already sold. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually introduce our amazing MC and auctioneer, Renee, to come and join me. Renee Richardson, who is beaming in here from South Carolina. I call these the COVID blessings. If you'd been, if you'd moved away, we, it'd be hard to get you back here. You are with us now. And Renee, I'm going to let you take it away and just let everyone know we're going to move quickly into these lots because everyone's a little Zoom fatigued and everyone's excited yeah. and busy yeah. bidding, aren't well, they? Well, what the, the beautiful thing that Artspan has done, and, and it's kind of it's changed the way an auctioneer can do the work here because your your device where you do your bidding is where your focus is going to be if you want to win your your item as we go through them and as Joan said we're going to move quickly but the beautiful thing that that Artspan has done this time is taking the time to make these beautiful videos so we can hear from the artists they'll talk to you. You can bid the whole time they are talking to you and they're telling their story about their art and the community that they've built in Artspan and how each of these artists has, has been woven into that family. So a lot of this is going to be multi multifaceted. You get to hear from them, but we want you to keep bidding because really, as Joan said, we're going to close these lots out very quickly. So in the spirit of being together and closing this thing out and bringing it home, get your bidding hand ready. 
So you can fight over these beautiful works of art. And uh, we're going to start with our first lot, which is number 102. It's DK Haas. DK Haas. And I'm going to tell you right now, the time that this lot is closing is 7.45 p.m. Pacific time, which means five minutes after, uh, sorry, 45 minutes, whatever hour you on, wherever in the world, <laughs> 7.45 Look at the 45 is going to close without us being able to control it because we, we're announcing the time and it closes. Right, Renee? Right. That is exactly right. <laughs> exactly. So be inspired. Hear DK talk about her work. Go into your phones, look at lot 102 and start bidding because we have no control when it closes in five minutes, it closes. So here we go. Please roll DK. You know, being in a community is crucial and it, I haven't seen a lot of people during COVID, but I know that people are here and I know they're working and I know that they're producing and creating and I feel like I belong. Belonging, I think belonging is unbelievably fulfilling and critical to feeling human and feeling a part of. and. Um, a lot of the art that I have in my house is from artists that I know through Artspan, through Art for AIDS, through this building. It's a critical community and it's very rich. And people do amazing things out of their imaginations. Like, it's crazy. And I cannot believe I get to be a part of that. I get to be, you know, rub elbows with people who are brilliant and fantastic and produce and create masterpieces in my mind. Having them in my building and in my community and then sometimes in my home, either as people or as their work, is such a gift. Artspan has been instrumental in my developing my professional profile, my professional self as an artist. Each year, doing open studios, had a chance to something to look forward to, a way to develop myself as an artist, a way to, to continue to build an audience and also to build collectors. So it's been a huge part of my journey and been involved in Artspan and I'm, I'm a big fan and I hope that I uh, represent them well because they've been so good to me and I feel like I'd like to give back. And you know, we give, we give and we get. That's how it goes. You give something and you get all kinds of stuff in return. Oh, wow, DK, don't you love DK and what she has to say? Come on. You know, I, I mean, I love her art, but then she said so many things that um, really spoke to me about the arts band community. Um, so much of the art that, that comes from the people she knows and you give and you get. When you give, you get. And that is just such, I mean, that it, it speaks to an auction, certainly. <laughs> Especially <It's>, this one. <laughs> It's so, you know, and, and I just want to make sure that people understand and to, and to get, you have to make sure that you understand this lot is closing at 745 Pacific Daylight Time. And just a few minutes from now, 745, you have no control. So if you're interested and want to bid, you should be bidding right now because it's, it's happening live. And uh, I've been keeping an eye on the numbers. Um, Sharon Valdez had it for a minute there at $940, but she has been outbid by Audrey Heller at 1,060. So that's the current uh, bid. And this, the market value on this piece from DK Haas is $1,800. So still um, anybody trying to get in, you're still getting in under market value. Of course, we'd love to see it go for market value. But again, one of these beautiful pieces donated to Artspan, and it's your opportunity to give now and get in on the bidding. And Joe, and uh, Joe, and you are so funny. You've been saying how you like this format because you can actually bid for once. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and now you've got the top bid and she's drinking wine as an auctioneer you know, two of my favorite things <laughs> you know what you bid on the things that you shouldn't be bidding and you drink wine no it's true <laughs> so if anyone else wants on here um i'm just saying you know i love dk i love this work i love her community spirit and you give what you get and really she says our span is instrumental in developing her career 
And here we are, we're at 7.45. Well, at least in the time that we're in, we're not gonna mention any more times in the future, but um, thank you all very much for this bid. Yes. All of you watching out there, make sure you're furiously bidding on the silence as well. Those are gonna close later. And, and this, this one I is closed, nice it's work. Closed. Amazing, that's so beautiful. I own that work. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <Howdy. laughs> all right, and uh, next up we have lot number 109. Um, you're gonna love hearing from La Bohemian Muse and um, her work of art right now, lot 109. And again, you can start bidding right when the video starts and because it's gonna close at, at 7.50. At 7 50. 50 minutes after whatever hour you're in we're in california time so 7 <laughs> it's going to close just like it did i just bought that so 7 50 is going to close um thank you all and we'll see you soon my name is lebo Himi muse i am what i like to call a multi-faceted storyteller i uh, perform i write and i'm also an abstract painter my whole basis of storytelling stem from my background as a ghanian american i'm first generation here and in African culture, storytelling is sort of like breathing air. It's just part of our culture. I do it through the different mediums, including abstract painting, which is my favorite because you can tell a story uh, with a piece in multi-layers. Fire Madness was specifically about the heat, about the feeling of warmth, the happy moments you have when you're expecting summer, but also a little bit of a reflection of our global warming situation and how we had moments in the Bay Area that were like super hot and fire season was approaching. And I literally had made this piece um, probably two months before the fire season that happened back in wine country in August. So it was me sort of reflecting on that heat, but also at the same time thinking about how fire is an element of cleansing. And we were also just coming through the moments of the Black Lives Matter movement and all the protests that were happening in human rights. So it made me think of all these sort of elements and pour my sort of emotions, my feelings about all of it into this work. And so it came out very red and a little grimy, but at the same time has a sense of beauty to it. Being a part of the journal building is great. I have been a part of it since its genesis, like six years ago. And so um, it has been a great impact as me as a growing artist. I used to paint from my home. So having a physical space and a community has been very impactful in how my work has actually shifted and changed. Um, the influence from getting feedback from my peers to being amongst other artists and being inspired by them has helped really foster a new wave and evolution within me and my work within as a painter and as a storyteller. So it's been very impactful and I'm very happy I got a chance to be a part of it and I'm still a part of it. <laughs>
So and it just closed. It closed for Shannon. Uh, she got it at two hundred and sixty-five dollars. Congratulations, Shannon. That's a beautiful piece that you now own. Um, and thank you for everybody for participating uh, in that lot. And we're going to get ready to move on to our next lot, which is uh, lot number one ten. Um, and this one comes from Jenny Phillips, right, Joan? Jenny Phillips, she is an incredible artist. She loves to be in her studio all the time. She loves to work and do things and make work and take in the environment. And this lot is going to close at 7.55 California Pacific Daylight Time. So five minutes after the, 55 minutes after the hour of wherever you are, 7.55 California time. We're going to let Jenny tell you about her piece and then we're going to come and talk about Jenny when you're done. So let's hear about Jenny. Keep bidding in the meantime. Almost everything I experience, all of that material goes into my work. There's, so it's, it's like the everyday. It can be mundane or it can be exquisitely beautiful, but I love the combination of the two. This piece called Winter Woods is, uh, is about, well, <laughs> winter woods. And um, in January when you know, we were getting rain and the greens were starting to come out, I, um, I was very inspired by just the, the sharp contrast of the wood and the bark of the damp trees and then, and then the shoots of new growth and greenery, which I, I just, I love that contrast. It's also um, the smells of the winter woods and the vibrancy of the new life. It, for me, it um, is very hopeful. And during this time, I just needed that. The great thing about, in general, about open studios for me is that I end up meeting so many people that I would have never met otherwise. And it really has, um, it's really helped my business. It's introduced me to uh, a broader audience the main reason I do art is because of the process. It brings me calm, it makes me happy. I, I really, really love making. It's not a question of like, oh, I gotta go to the studio. I am always wanting to come to the studio. It's the place that I'm the happiest. And in my house, uh, I love buying other people's art as well. Going to different people's studios, the fact that, that they've opened that up, um, it's just been, it's been incredible because I feel like I've met a, a whole community here because of Arts Van. Oh, Jenny Phillips, what a sweetheart. What a oh. person about process. She goes into her studio and work because she loves it, because she can. Just really quick before I ask Renee what she thinks about this beautiful work. I want to remind everyone we are closing this lot at 7.55, not we, it's the royal we, it's the board we, <laughs> it's the computer we, we have no control. So bid, bid, bid while you can. Please enjoy the show and bid, bid, bid while you can. But now it's time. Renee, what do you think about this work? What's up? First what of mean? all, Arts Fan Jurors, the juxtaposition of Fiery Madness and then Winter Woods, just beautiful. <laughs> I am just in love with the way you put this together. And I love the line, um, the everyday can be mundane or exquisitely beautiful. I mean, that is that says everything to me. So Jenny Phillips, her piece right now, we have the high bidder at 1360, 1360. Alia Gaffney is the high bid right now. And again, we are closing this one at 755. So just a few minutes for you to get your bidding in. Um, and again, we don't close it. As Joan said, this is uh, beyond our control, <laughs> but we want to give you the heads up. So um, make sure you get in on this, um, on the bidding on this one, on Winter Woods. And those of you out there, re remember that we're whipping through these beautiful, amazing lots of the live auction art. I know a lot of you are probably preoccupied also doing the silent bids. The silent bids are going to close later. We have the 200s at 9.15, the 300s at 9.30. The 400s at 945. You only have now to get in and bid on this. And it's going to close at 55. We have no control over it. And um, this piece is amazing. I love Jenny's work. The beautiful, every single piece of paper that she has dyed by hand to make it match her feeling of the winter woods is adhered to this beautiful piece of board. And uh, I mean, it just, this doesn't do it justice. Go ahead. And I have to say, you know, Alia, you better pay attention to your phone because John Galvin has surpassed your bid. And now the top bid is uh, 1480, 1480. Uh, and it looks like that's the winning bid. John Galvin got it. 
John Calvin. Oh, yeah, yeah. John Calvin is a good bidder. He has, between him and, he and his wife, Deborah, they may have the most robust collection of local art I've ever seen. And local is a big geography for them. It goes all the way from San Francisco Bay Area to Portland. So thank you all for your bids. Thank you for your support. And you are so happy to have this gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So incredible. And now we got to get your, you guys ready for the next one. Uh, the next lot is number 103. And this is this one's pretty special. We love when our arts fan artists collaborate, but especially when it's Joanne's husband and one of my best friends, Diane. <laughs> you know, exactly, exactly, right? So I hope that all you out there are paying attention because it's really important that this gets bid on high and far. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hear from them about their collaboration. And you guys will hear from us on their side trying to get those wallets open and give some support. My name is Paul Madonna. I'm an artist and an author. My name is Diane Hoffman, and I am a collage and assemblage artist creating sculptural works out of found objects. So I went to Diane and I proposed to her that she make a body of sculptures, whatever she wanted, based on this character. When Paul and I met to talk about the character in the book that I would be creating the work for, uh, we discussed the backstory and we sort of fleshed out the character together collectively, um, which was a unique experience. I enjoyed working with Paul that way. The pieces that we're donating to the Artsman auction are one of the sculptures, the original sculptures that Diane made, uh, the drawing that I did of of the sculpture, and then the, the box set book that has those images reproduced. Uh, about seven years ago, I became a member of Artspan, and that was the first chance I had to meet Paul Madonna. Overnight, my career took off because I met so many amazing artists and had uh, so many opportunities to apply for shows and get my work out there and meet um, some real art collectors that were a part of um, the community as well. Artspan has been really integral in, in the development of my career. And when I think back uh, 20 years ago when I did my first open studios, uh, that's where I began meeting people and people started buying my work. And to do that every year and to see that build has been, it, without that there, it would be really difficult, I think, to have that consistent interaction. Art gives me a way of expressing myself. Um, it's a way of communicating. Um, it's a way of uh, not only communicating with others, but even myself. I learn things about myself every day from the work that I create. Art in the most general sense is really, really important to my life. It's, it's not just about making art. It's about when I, when I read a story or see a good movie or, or see a, a painting that I love that, that shows me the world in a new way. It, it is sort of, it, it's, it makes me optimistic. And all humans respond really well to beautiful things and it makes our lives better. Okay, everyone out there listening. Hey, friends and family, board members, VIPs, supporters of the arts, those who know me, those who don't, those who love local artists, those who love artists generally, those who just know why art matters. This is an incredible piece. This is a collaboration of two amazing artists who work hard, harder than anyone else I know. I mean, I'm biased because Pompadon is my husband. I'm also <laughs> biased because Diane Hoffman works for Artspan. Together, they made this piece that is hard to get. It is a drawing, it is a sculpture, it is a signed book, you saw that in the video. Please, you guys, honestly, give them the love and support they need to just drive this through the stratosphere. Renee, this, what do you think? Well, you, you know well, both these people. What do you this think? one closes at eight o'clock, people. So this one closes at eight o'clock. So <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. It's very important. And oh my goodness, the the Jill, Jill Andrade. It's just, over. It's over, it's done, Jill, it's when Jill Andre, won. it's over. <laughs> Jill, it's sold. So you know what, Jill, I love you too. I've sat across a dinner table with you supporting another organization and I, I, I see you, I appreciate you. John Galvin, you tried to get in there, but Jill was fast. I know, Jill was fast. fast. And Jill, I, Jill, and you don't know this, but I took a painting class with Jill once. It was fantastic. And I, she has a gorgeous studio. She's a gorgeous soul. She has a big heart. 
Jill, it went thank you so much. Home. It went to a good home. It went, it's going to amazing. This is this is a piece. This is a piece for the record book. So, well, you you heard it from here, ladies and gentlemen. That went out the door at four thousand dollars. So, thank yes. you, Jill. Thank you, John. Um, and you know, because we're kind of trying to keep this virtual thing going fast, we're just going to go on to the very next thing. That's right. Lot number one hundred four from Philip Hua. Um, uh, this is, he's going to tell us about the piece, but this one is going to close at 10, uh, 8, 10, 8, 10. Is that right? No, 805. 805. See, this is <laughs> why I'm not you. in charge of the I'm supposed to be in charge of the time. I'll do that. 805, <laughs> 805. Um, we're going to roll Philip Hua. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> My name is Philip Hua and I'm a mixed media printmaker. So this piece specifically is, uh, called aerial accounting. This one is a, uh, pigeon with uh, cherry blossoms and uh, that's symbolizing nature while you have stock indexes, the graphs, um, images that I scanned from the Wall Street Journal uh, in the background. A strong San Francisco art scene depends on a strong artist community and that's where Artspan comes in. Um, without Artspan um, there'd be no open studios which is a way for artists to connect with their community, their following, their fans. And for me, it's been an asset. It's been a way that I've met gallerists, met um, curators and art consultants. It's how I build my mailing list. Uh, it's, it's been invaluable to me as an artist in my career. The Art in Neighborhood program is uh, really a great experience for me um, to take the role as a curator and to connect with artists in my community. Having art in your home is not just about having an object on the wall or on a pedestal. When you buy art, you are supporting an artist. You're supporting their vision, their aesthetic, and expanding their work. Isn't he adorable? I love Philip Hua. Philip, if you're out there, please know, biggest heart for you. You are you are kind. You are part of your community in the Portola district. You do amazing work working for Artspan and bringing community of artists together. Some of the most tender moments I've had during this pandemic time is watching you interact with the artists during the Art in Neighborhoods exhibitions virtual. But that's just about you personally. You as an artist, is also amazing pigeons and cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. And let's check in with Renee. Renee, how's the bidding going on this piece? While I like well, black poetic about the Philip. first, the first thing I'll say is the bidding closes at eight oh five. So keep an eye on things because it's moving along quickly. Uh, Steve Gilbert wants this thing, and he's he's got quite the battle with Kurt Wilhelm going on. So right now the top bid is two thousand four eighty, two thousand four hundred eighty dollars, and Stephen Gilbert is uh, at the top as the bidder there, um, but boy, oh boy, uh, you said it with what a beautiful um, aesthetic on this piece and really gorgeous. Um, and again, this bidding is gonna end at 8.05. So you have a few minutes to get in and current high bid is $2,480. The market value on this, by the way, if anybody's interested is $2,200. So we've exceeded that. And now we're up to 2,720, $2,720 is the current bid. Uh, for this gorgeous piece from Philip. So um, it, it's closing at 805, which mm -hmm. means it's just closed. So any of you out there watching, it is a gorgeous, amazing, wonderful, beautiful piece. And Philip really makes the world a better place. And it, in in his video, he says, and it's kind of the way he he just shines his beautiful light. He says, when you buy art, you are supporting an artist, you're supporting their vision, their aesthetic, and you are expanding their work, which is true. It is true in every way, shape, and form. I mean, you support them and they can do more of what they do, which is bring stuff like this to you, the gold leaf, the Wall Street Journal, the pigeon, and the cherry blossoms. How are we doing on the bids? I'm sure it's coming along. We're gonna be closing uh, at 8.05, no matter what. So if you're there and, and perched and ready, we and we're just shy of three thousand dollars. If anybody wants to take it there, we are take just it shy. there. Take we come on, somebody go fast. <laughs> somebody go fast. It's going to close in any second. So yeah, and Steve anyone? has it. 
right now, uh, the current bid is still 27.20. And Steve, uh, oh, it's close. Steve Gilbert won this piece. Congratulations. Oh, nice. That's that was wonderful. That's amazing. Um, Congratulations right. to the winner of this gorgeous piece. Really. It's, very, very it's lucky. Um, um, next up is our lot number 104. And this is J.L. King, J.L. King's piece. Um, you're going to hear from the artist, of course. But this one, we are closing at 810. So just be prepared for that. 810, uh, 810. OK, we hear that. So let's, let, let's hear. And I just want to say it's actually lot 108. 108 for J.L. Oh. King. Oh, I have, I'm sorry. Lot you never know. You never know. I think it was my bad note. So 108, the tracing by J.L. King. And we're just gonna let you hear about the piece she made specifically for us and her being the cover artist for Artspan for SFOS, our open studios for 2020. Right, and then we'll come back. Thank you. you. To me, it's all beautiful. Even, you know, pigeons, you know, nobody pays attention to those, get away, fly away. But they're a part of our, our lives. You know, they're in the herb, they're in uh, the cities all the time. And so I like to spotlight things like that that are ignored and kind of not as interesting to people and maybe put it in a more interesting perspective. Now it's, it's a curious thing, something that you might have questions about, wonder about, like snails. That was a thrill, very exciting. One of my highlights, it was actually one of my goals probably five, what, five years ago. I said, oh, I really wanna be on that cover within the next five years. and. Uh, and I made it to my goal. So I got on the cover and I was very happy with the piece that they chose for it. Uh, it was important to me that I created a piece that was um, brand new. Um, primarily, I didn't want to donate something that was already done that had a different purpose. It was important to me, maybe psychologically, that I had a piece that I was creating solely for a, a gift for Artspan. I didn't even really want to put a price on it. The piece that I made is called The Chasing. Although I didn't have a narrative at first when I was creating it, I think as it went along, it kind of turned into a little story. It looks like some of the pencils that are alive in the piece are, are chasing the papers that are flying away. And, and so I think of it, you're chasing your narrative, um, trying to chase the story behind your work. I love J.L. King. She means it. She knows it. She does very intentional work. I personally own a piece of her work. She made this piece specifically for Artspan, chasing the story, chasing the narrative, which is what artists do. I, I Thank just, you, J.L., so much. Renee, what do you think? What, no, what I, I, just, I love this. And in the, in the piece, she describes how the, you know, the pencils look like they're, they're chasing the paper, chasing after the paper and um, just a beautiful piece. And congratulations for being on the cover of the Artspan um, catalog as well. Uh, I do want to mention and remind everybody that this lot closes at 810. So you just have a few minutes on this one, but the current high bid is coming in from Greta and Manu Schnetzler. Um, and they are at $900. $900 is the current bid. A lot of folks were in on this at the start. And so we want to see that bidding continue. Um, again, gorgeous piece and um, made it in five years. Oh, oh, so the, the goal to get on the cover. Oh, no, yeah, her, yeah. Goal, her goal was to be on the cover of the Artspan, Artspan SFOS Open. Open Studios catalog. And she did it. She made it in five years. I mean, her precision in her surrealist painting is unbelievable. I have an incredible painting of a cloud behind some curtains and you all, almost always there's like a little exposed piece of canvas. Really, the on the internet doesn't do it justice for what you see in person. And I really, I adore her. I love everything about her for an artist, for precise intention, her amazing hand in the painting that makes these things look real even though they're not. And uh, we have the Schnetzlers, I think, are still up there. And we're going to yes, be closing this any, like very soon. 810 is when it's going to close. I hope you all are out there listening. I want to make sure you guys know that we're about to have some really other exciting things coming up as well. So please bid on JL King. She deserves it. 
and she's a, just a rising star in arts across the globe, if not in San Francisco. And our still our high bid right now is nine hundred dollars, and uh, it looks like that should be closing right about now. So it's, I think it's closed. So thank okay. you for your bids. Thank you for your interest. Yep. We really appreciate the support. We really, really do. Speaking of support, <laughs> mm -hmm. what what are we going to do next, Renee? Oh yeah. So we, this is this is the big fun fund to need. So um, you know, all great organizations and ArtSpan is at the top of them uh, needs funding uh, assistance for program needs. So uh, fund to need. In, in a typical fashion, I would be among you and we would raise our paddles. So that's what you're going to do here. That's you're going to do exactly that. We have a little um, on your on your app or your um, what is this thing called? Give something. Raise anyway. your virtual paddle. Raise your virtual paddle. All you have to do is look Click for the that thing. button. Click the button. It's really easy. And, it, and I'm going to even do it right now. I'm not afraid. Oh, yeah. There you are. <laughs> there I am. Renee, are you going to donate to Ben? Is that how much you love us? You're going to donate yes. too? <laughs> yes. Why not? So the idea is we are trying to get to our goal of $150,000. So we want you to um, help us get there. We're already cruising along at $77,000 in various donations here. Thank you to all and, the wonderful people who have donated. And, and before we do that, we want to make sure you feel really big hearted about the work we do, because we're going to let the amazing staff tell you about the work we've done during this time. We have not taken the year off. We've been working hard. So let's hear about what we've been doing and then come back and make sure people donate because heartfelt donations is what we love. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> in 2020, Artspan has accomplished a lot that we're really proud of, including serving nearly 1,400 artists and producing 48 public events. And since we've adapted to stream everything online due to COVID and quarantine restrictions, these events have been accessible to individuals all over the world. During the pandemic, we have adapted our ArtSpan workshops and panel discussions and artist mixers to take place uh, through the internet on Zoom. One of the greatest things about the ArtSpan community is there's no c competitiveness. We're all in it together and ArtSpan really helps facilitate that and bring everyone uh, together and teach them how to help each other. Getting to interact with the artists and the art community through ArtSpan has been wonderful because I'm learning about people and their art and how they're brought to their particular art form. And that's really nice for me as someone who didn't necessarily appreciate art when I was young. This year, the auction means more than anything to ArtsFan because we have not had our auction in two years. Most of our revenue is generated by this auction, which means we need support more than ever. And especially our last push on our capital campaign to get to the final destination of our new home the Artspan Onondaga Art Center that we hope to open later this year. Artspan's Excelsior Art Initiative focuses on artists living or working in the Excelsior neighborhood, which is one of San Francisco's most ethnically diverse boroughs. The main focus is due to our future home, the Artspan Onondaga Community Art Center being developed there. And this gives us the opportunity to create ties with the neighborhood. If someone had asked us to take all of our programming and make it virtual, I would have said it would take years. And actually my staff was able to do it within a couple of weeks because it is important to make sure our artists are supported. We have been working really hard. We have not gone anywhere. We have done more than we ever have. And here we are two years later at our auction to say, come and celebrate the arts, especially celebrate the artists because we have been living with their art in our homes and it means more than ever to have them with us. So you know exactly where your dollars are gonna go. It's going to support artists doing their work. It's going to support us doing the work to support the artist. We have not taken any time off. 48 events, 1400 artists that we have helped. We have been busy. We have re-engineered all of our programming into virtual in the meantime to make sure that everyone is seen and heard and supported. So just know that really your dollars directly translate into exactly the work we do and we continue to do it. So, so far we have raised quite a bit of money on the auction. Silent bidding is still going on. And remember, there's a few, there's a few pieces of art out there that don't even have any bids yet. And we wanna make sure every artist feels loved, every artist is supported. If 
a piece of art doesn't get a bid, it just makes it sad for everybody. So mm -hmm. look and get a, you know, lean in, bid on those, make sure that you're supporting us and them. And however, we are also asking for direct support. If you bid on something, you got at bid, give it to us directly. Renee right. knows all about that. What do you think, Renee? I, that's, I think, a great idea. If you were ready to bid on a piece of art and you and you, you didn't win, uh, this is a place to win and win for all of us at Artspan. So raise your paddle. That is the, the, Those are the words you need to know. And the raise your paddle button will take you to an area where you can donate a custom amount. You can donate any amount on that is presented to you here from $5,000 down to $50, whatever level that you can donate. Um, please do so here. And if you want me to say your name, that's how you'll do it. Make a donation. I'll read off the donation and thank you um, heartily by saying your name here. And it's really fun. I love anytime there's a little um, thermometer telling us how close we're getting to our goal. Our goal is $150,000. We are cruising up there with so many wonderful donations like Alexa Hansen came in at $1,000. Um, and really you can donate here to the fund to need anytime tonight. Um, as Joanne said, if you don't, if you miss out on a, a piece and just take that money and, and throw it at the fund to need because we're trying to do some great work for our program. So thank you to Alexa Hansen. Um, thank you to Julie Phelps earlier. She donated $500 and you too can donate. As I said, custom. Hey, if you've got the money to throw us the, the rest of the cash to get us <laughs> to $150,000, bring oh, it Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be nice? I wouldn't, wouldn't have to talk nice. about it anymore. <laughs> I really, it's like, we just like, we could just like, you know, close the program and move on. And it really <laughs> is about, you know, it, there, there has been a lot of weird discrepancies in this time of this pandemic and people have been working hard and some people have been hardly working because they just couldn't. And there's, you know, people who have money and want to know how to support. And I, if you're out there listening, really, please listen to my staff and me. We work really hard. We are the real deal. We really do care. You've heard the stories of the artists themselves in their studios and art is such a universal language more than ever. We need to make sure that we are supporting them and we do that directly. And by you directly supporting us, we directly support them. So yeah. please um, jump in, let us see your names. We will say them out loud as we go through. John Galvin, I'm gonna say one right now. John Galvin came in at a thousand dollars. Thank you, John. You've already been uh, working hard at purchasing some art. So. Um, uh, it's nice to see you here giving to the fund to need. And also Matt McKinley, Matt McKinley donated $250. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your support. Everybody who is donating to the fund to need right now. I'll give it another minute or so for folks to chime in and uh, I'm in. anybody else. Yeah. And I just want to give a shout out again for John Galvin, who gave me a run for my money earlier on a piece of art. <laughs> Happy to see you there, John. I know you know what you're doing. I am just, I am, I am purely a novice against your expert skills at knowing how to buy and support on an auction level for art. And Matt, thank you so much. He does so much for our community. He's on our board of directors and he's just showing his love in a really nice way. So thank you all thank so you. much. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you everybody. And I'll say it one more time. Um, you can donate at any point through the evening uh, uh, for the fund to need or um, lots one and two, I think they are, where you can donate directly to support Onondaga, you can dr directly support programs, but um, you can do that anytime throughout the evening. I think, are we getting ready to continue on with our next lot or can we? Can I talk a few more minutes and say a few more names if anybody comes in here on the fund to need? Anyone else want to fund a need? I think they're just so busy out there buying. I just got a note from, I just or, got a note from behind the curtain. What's that? Or they're sitting at their tables partying and drinking and eating no. too much. Hey, hey friends, hey, <laughs> you hey, hey you, you guys, <laughs> go, go, to your, go to your phones and donate. You know, we're working hard over here. Come on now, gonna give you a whoop, whoop. Who's out there? Get us to um, our goal, having baby. fun. We are bidding hard. Um, I know that some people are just like going out and buying art robustly at the buy it now prices. I've gotten some notes from some of my staff saying, Rob yes. Hansen just put some money down on a beautiful Gage Open Drow. Thank you so much. That piece is stunning, stunning, stunning. And Jen Debane also bought a Bergen piece at Buy It Now, which means every time you buy it now, you're giving money to our span directly on top of what we will share with the artist and what you're getting for the art. So even if you're not jumping in to the fund of need, we still love you with all our hearts and all of our souls. And 
the night is not over. So we're going to go back and sell a few more pieces now that we're yes. going to need and talk about what else is there. Um, yeah, our next lot up is number 111, 111 um, Talavara Ballon. Talavara Ballon. I love the name. Oh, um, Claudio is amazing. Um, Kurt, Wilhelm, Kurt Michael, if you're out there, please come by, come back to where you are and hear this video because really, Claudio is so sweet and amazing. He's done so much for it. every community he's been a part of. We are so blessed and lucky to have him a part of our community right now. So let's hear from Claudio and then we'll get back to it. And what do you think? 825? We're going to close 825. this at 825. The bidding will close on this one. <laughs> Closing 825. So listen, love, bid, bid, bid. 825 is done. We have no control over it. Hi, uh, my name is Claudio Talavera Bayon. I am an oil, uh, I am an oil painter and muralist from Peru, based in San Francisco. I like to paint farmers, fishermen, migrants, ordinary people, and people who fight every day for a better life. I live surrounded by art. Uh, I have made art since I was a child. Uh, art for me is part of my life, like eating or sleeping. I cannot imagine one day in my life without making art. And I think that now is, is an interesting time for the arts. Art can bring hope, uh, harmony, balance to our children, to us, to our minds and lives, especially in this time. I think that now art is more important than ever. It was an honor to be invited to be part of the Open Studios Committee to share my experience and perspective as a Latino artist in San Francisco and to be able to mentor other artists and to see from the inside all the work Artspan does, not only for open studios, but to help artists thrive in art in, in San Francisco. Botes en Chorrillos is a painting I made for Artspan Open Studios last year. It's a scene in Chorrillos, a neighborhood on the coast of Lima, the capital city of Peru. The fishing boats you see in the painting are taking a break after a long hours of work and the fisherman is folding the nets. This painting is to honor the artisanal work of fishermen uh, who have been fighting, who have been fishing like this for many centuries without destroying the ecosystem like industrial fishing does. I'm so grateful to Artspan. Artspan was my, was my first connection with the art scene when I came to San Francisco eight years ago. Artspan showed me a new world of art. I met a lot of people, artists, collectors, galleries, art supporters, uh, great people through Artspan. Artspan opened the door to a new experience for me, like uh, making murals in my home country, I never thought of me of painting murals. And now, thanks to Art Span, I can say I'm a muralist. In, in addition to the work of the Art Span team, it's amazing. They offer wonderful opportunities to local artists year around. You guys are amazing and you make a wonderful, a wonderful work. I appreciate it so much and thank you, thank you so much. Claudio Talavella Beyond, who couldn't love you more? Thank you so much for your heart, your passion, your care for everyone. Really, the people who are there that are working hard, trying hard, the fishermen, those that are migrating and immigrating and trying to make the world a better place. You see them, you highlight them, you paint them, you make them beautiful for all of us to know they exist. Thank you so much. It's amazing. And you're, you're, your painting is incredible. Your master painter, your Peruvian upbringing and your heart and soul you've brought to our community in San Francisco means everything. Thank you so much, so much. And um, I'm gonna stop talking about how much I adore you and your heart and passion. I'll let Renee talk about the bidding itself because we are gonna be closing this at 8.30. No, 25, 25. Oh, 8.25, <laughs> wow, it's coming fast. Woo, good thing, good thing Renee's taking notes. <laughs> so, uh, we have some bids on this. And the, the bidding right now, John Galvin has the high bid at $1,000 for this piece. So um, there was some uh, a nice little bidding war going on early. 
and we got it up to a thousand dollars. Thank you, John. That's the high bid right now. Again, it's going to close at uh, eight twenty-five. So you have just a few. Really, no. I think it should be bidding is now closed. Just closed. Congratulations, John Galvin. A thousand dollars for that pay piece. Um, and Claudio, thank you. Um, you know, his personality really came through in that video. And that's one of the things I, I have tonight that has been super special for me because, you know, I don't live in your world, Joan, but um, to do this tonight, to meet each of the artists has been really, really fantastic. Um, and I hope you keep up this, even when we're all back together on a stage together, I like the intimacy of getting to know each of the artists like this. It's really great. You know, isn't it nice because often when when you're up there, you give you some notes and you talk about them from a card and um, really hearing them talk about themselves in their studios makes all the difference. Yeah. It's and incredible. that is where Arts Band was founded in 1975. A bunch of artists came together and said, you know where the passion is about art? It's where, was where we make it. So let's do something like an open house. We go by house, but let's do open studio. We go by art from an artist directly. And that is the foundation, 1975. And we're still doing it 47 years later. It's amazing. <laughs> and so during the pandemic, we really wanted to make sure that we had, um, you know, that connection to the artist as well in their studios. And be before we actually do the next thing, I just wanted to say that what everyone is doing now, supporting the arts makes all the difference. And to hear them in their studios make all the difference. And you know what? We actually have two bids that are coming up, two lots that have already buy it now. People Ooh. were so inspired that we yeah. just get to hear them talk about it and then not even have to sell it. So, so technically, I think- we're, we're, Oh, we're, we're, we're Jane Grimm. I was skipped ahead. I was now, so excited about that. Thank you well, for keeping on track. Um, well, you know, it's funny, I was there for a moment. This yeah. is the last lot. So this is your last chance. To this, bid because this, the other two that are following are sold. So. Thank you. And I yes. was heading down the vast. So, so when the pandemic began, um, Diane, who you saw earlier on the video and who is on the staff at Arts Band, is an amazing local artist. She is artist whisperer writ large for every single human artist, artist supporter, artist, you know, enabler like me, you know. And she took a video of herself leaving her studio as the pandemic began and we were going to shut in. And we turned that into something we called VAST, Virtual Art Studio Tours. And we made sure to bring as many artists into the forefront so people had content while we could. And so the next video is actually about Jane Grimm. It's a VAST that we made. We made 80 videos of artists in their studio in the past year. So please, please look at this video of Jane in her studio and her practice making clay, incredible sculptures. And then please buy Think about bidding, take it home because every artist deserves to be with you where you are. And so we're gonna let that roll and we're gonna come out on the other side. And the closing time is going to be, what do you think? I think 8.35 because we're getting into the, I, I think that would be a good time for this. So people can watch the video and have a little time to bid on this one. Um, so if 8.35 works I think for you, so 8.35 works just... for me. <laughs> I think 835 is perfect. So 835. So we're going to see the video. We'll see you on the other side of our video and we'll talk about bidding on it. So see you soon. I'm Jane Grimm and I'm a ceramic sculptor located now in Coal Valley. I also have a small studio in the Castro. I have been working in clay since 1992 when I got my masters from CCAC. And the first piece that I ever made was this very long sculpture that has balls that transform. They go from a white ball to a very intense red ball at the end. It's called evolution. No two pieces that I make are ever the same. I like to play around and have maybe one piece inspire another piece and change either the color or the form or the style. And sometimes I let uh, an accident happen that it, it inspires another piece, like this razzmatazz where I had extruded forms, I didn't know what to do with them. I thought, well, why don't I put them on a tile and see what happens? And I love how that came out. Here with the All That Jazz, I did a whole series of All That Jazz pieces. 
and thought it'd be fun to see what would happen if I put a little angle on the piece, which I did. And I noticed that it gave it a wonderful texture. After I made many pieces that were in the Evolution series, I decided to remove the box entirely. So this piece is uh, called Zygo Makata, and I made it for the San Francisco Museum of Craft and Folk Art. Here are some examples of my freestanding sculptures. And you can see in this group of sculptures, the focus more is on form. And here's one where I have different kinds of coils on it. And uh, it gives a swirl type of effect. Jane Grimm is so amazingly heartful and soulful, and she just makes what she wants to make, never the same piece twice, experiments, tries, works with clay, makes these beautiful clay sculptures. What you see here is this beautiful freestanding sculpture that has a front side and a back side. So when you turn it around, it is similar but unique on the other side as well. And I tell you, everyone I know that has bought a Jane Grimm piece loves it more and more as they live with it. We have a bid on it and we would love to yes. have more bids on it. And please lean in, support Jane in her work, in her passion. And do you want to say anything about yeah, this? Yeah, I do want to say, I do, yeah. Uh, the bidding is up to $1,200. And thank you, Cynthia Farner, for um, bidding on the item. Um, but just gorgeous. Uh, everything she does, every piece is unique and everything she does is uh, beautiful. I loved watching and learning about Jane Grimm. So thank you for creating such a good uh, video. And she got, a, she got a 10 out of 10 jury score, I noticed there. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And really, I have to tell you, I mean, I have been involved in so many of these incredible um, events for our span between our auction and our selections. And we also do tons of events throughout the city in our art neighborhoods. And a lot of them are juried. To get a 10 out of 10 is really hard to do, which means all of those amazing esteemed jurors of the art world that we put up um, at one point tonight. And um, they are just, they have a keen eye. They have big hearts. They are the ones who brought this collection to you through us for support of the artist. And 10 out of 10 are to do. There's only a few of them. So if you're interested, if you're standing by, if you're watching, please know that it makes all the difference to her and to us and to the art world to support the work that she does. So thank and, you, thank you, thank you. And please also know that the bidding on this is going to close at 8.35. So 8.35, exactly. So mind it there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 8.35, no matter what. Yeah. And we have, we have a bidder on it. We do have... Yes. We do have Cynthia Farner, Farner. She is on for twelve hundred dollars. That is the bid, but you still have time to get in. And, and we didn't even, you know, say the most important thing. This is actually the last live auction item that you're able to bid on, um, because uh, we have some buy it nows coming up that we'll be talking about. But um, that sold sold items. So this is the last live auction. This is your your final opportunity. And uh, eight thirty five is when this this lot will be closing. So we have a couple it, of more minutes. 8, 8.35. And just also keep in mind, support this artist, support the artist after we finish the live lots, which is going to be very soon because this is the last one you can actually bid on. The next two have already, already sold on Buy It Nows. We set the price above value so that you want to lean in, support our spend, support the artist, and not have to deal with the you know back and forth of bidding against your friends and foes and family. However, we want to remind you, buy it nows are still available after we close the live lots and we're finished with this section. We're gonna have three more sections of silent. Jump in and buy it now there. We have already had so many buy it nows because people are at home and they want the art and they they don't want to they don't want to have to you know bid you up 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 they just it is they set the max bid or they just go for buy it now. So remember that's still happening. So 
really, I think that it's hard to know what something might look like when you see it, but I assure you, anyone else who bids on this is never, ever, ever going to be sorry that they have supported this beautiful work and arts ban and get to take this and set it on their, you know, bureau or their um, side table or their coffee table or on their bookshelf. It's two-sided and it's absolutely stunning. And I think we might be at the close. Are we, we are there? at the close. I just got the refresh winning bid. It went to Cynthia. Congratulations uh, with a winning bid of $1,200 for this uh, stunning piece from Jane Green. Jane, thank you for donating such a beautiful piece. Um, that does technically close the live auction, but we're going to talk about the last two items that um, that sold. People bought it now. They took advantage of that opportunity. And um, so lot 105 uh, comes from Uma Roni Eiley. And um, we'll check out the video so you can learn a little bit more about Uma. Um, but this is number lot 105, and this is currently sold. So sorry. Enjoy. Be inspired. <laughs> Hi, my name is Uma Rani Ailey. I'm a San Francisco Bay Area artist and I make paintings, fiber sculptures, photography and installation art. I grew up in India. Traditionally, the society is divided into castes and subcastes, and I belong to the weavers community. And with that identity, I reference to weaving and patterning in my art. This piece that's um, included in the live auction is titled Silk Brocades One. Here you see silk wrapped plexi tubes, which are woven and then mounted onto my painting. When Artspan first sent the call for Journal Building Studios in 2015, I just feel like I was one among the fortunate few who was able to get into the program. Through various Artspan events, I've been able to connect with curators and consultants and show my work and receive press coverage and it's really helped me to grow as an artist. Well, those of you out there that just saw this amazing inspiring video by Uma, it's already been sold. Buy it now. First time ever Arts Band has put their live auction items up for buy it now ahead of time and it worked. Uma is amazing. She's such a person of process. The Q-tips that she uses to make the circles, she puts them into garlands, she takes photos of them, she makes paintings, she wraps silk. You know that she's from the weaver class, caste of India. And it's just, it's, it's so multidimensional. It's incredible, it's amazing. She was one of our first journal building artists. She was there for a very long time until just during the pandemic, she moved to another studio. She came and volunteered time after time, request after request, event after event, an incredible human. So all of you out there who have missed the opportunity to buy this work, it is not too late because she will be an artist the rest of her days, the rest of her life. Go and support her, please do it because she is amazing and only her work gets better and more thoughtful and more deep over time. So this, go ahead, we, Renee, do I have something oh, we, should, we should say thank you to, um, the, the winning bidder was Andrew Morse. Andrew Morse um, is the one who bought it now and bought the piece. $550 goes to Artspan. And thank you, Uma. What just a gorgeous piece. And congratulations, Andrew. That's pretty great. Good for yeah. you. Amazing. Congratulations. A beautiful, beautiful piece. I've seen it in person. I've seen all these art, 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 artworks in person, and they're amazing. So we're going to just go ahead and roll on to the next mm -hmm. artist, I think, because this is where we are. The yes. last two lots sold already. They did buy it now, which reminds me to tell everyone, buy it now is about Chen getting out of the game and just taking it from the top. It's going to be above value. You're going to get money for your for our span. You're going to get a piece of art and you're going to feel great about supporting arts, artists and arts organizations. So the very next piece is incredible. I have loved his work from the first day I saw it. I ask him to donate every year and what he does, it delights me to no end. This work has been sold at Buy It Now. So there's no bidding to be done. You just get to watch and be inspired. What you get to do is keep working on your silent lots, 
Mm -hmm. Think about do buy it now too, because if you're just, if you're out of the game, just swoop in and do buy it now. We already had, I think over 53 pieces of art have been sold to buy it now. I mean, it's a record. Who knew the virtual shopping for art and supporting of organizations and artists could be so amazing. So let's go ahead and hear about Andre Karwasi and Karwasi. Karwasi, thank you. It's really, I, I don't mean to destroy names with a name like Joe and his car, but he's going to say it himself in a moment yeah. and we'll see you on either side. My name is Andre Michael Cavassi. I paint on large pieces of panel, which I cut out into slices and tiny pieces. And then I also create huge collages that I cut out. And then in a thoughtful way, I put it together to represent sort of a more modern view of mindfulness, Buddhism, and maybe most recent politics. I love to have art and be surrounded by art or things that are of artistic value, especially for, of people who have dedicated their life into uh, craftsmanship and doing something that they love doing most. The piece that I've submitted won uh, an entry to the De Young last year, um, and that particular piece was done a year and a half ago with mind that it would represent sort of both political and mindful approach to modernism. And so, you know, one of the statements, and it says what it means to be you or live united, kind of uh, has to do with humanity. And especially now when we deal with political um, sort of uh, conflicts, I think this piece is kind of timely. Artsman has been huge in my career, personally, since I started in 94. And because of one of the open studios, I was selected to one of the galleries in San Francisco based on my contemporary work. And since then, my personal career took off. And so I greatly appreciate my relationship with them. And I try to support them as much as I can. What a charmer, what beautiful work, what an amazing artist. This piece was in the De Young exhibition of local artists and it's already been sold. It's sold. <laughs> it's so incredible. Andre's piece, um, you know, watching the video as always, um, each of these videos has inspired me. I've mentioned that over and over again. So thank you for putting them together. Um, but uh, seriously, what a gorgeous piece. And I gotta say, I was looking through the bidding history on this one and Chris Wheeler, um, Chris had the high bid, but then went ahead and bought it now anyway. Um, and I think two things were going on there. A, very smart, buy it now, make sure you lock that in. So good on you there, Chris Wheeler. But then also you could just hang out with your friends and drink and eat and you know, know you can cruise through the rest of the evening. This piece is coming home with you and it is a gorgeous win. So congratulations, that was our final. Uh, lot number 107 and um, Andre's piece was just beautiful. Nice work, Chris Wheeler. Congratulations. Amazing. Really, honestly. Oh, I didn't say how much. Did I say how much? $9,500 was the, 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 bid, the final bid. Yeah. Thank you for the support of the artist. Thank you for the support of Artspan. Really, this work is just an amazing thing about this piece of art is that you can hang it vertically or horizontally which I think is really charming. That it means that the artist just wants to bring it to you, let it fit, let it, let it be, you know, brought into your home in the way that it can and the shape that it needs to be. Um, Andre, as you heard in this video, he's been a member of Artspan since 1994. And that's a long time. And mm -hmm. his career has just continued to, to evolve and do great things for the world and for himself. And I'm so honored that he is still an Artspan member. He still donates to us. So thank you, Chris Wheeler. Thank all of you for being here. We've kind of hit the end of our like live program. We've gone pretty fast. And with those buy it nows, we made it even faster. That's I just want to remind everyone that's out there and still listening that the silent loss are going to continue to close in 15 minute increments. Um, we didn't know how this was going to go because we've never done a virtual auction before. We didn't know if it's going to go long or, and we've actually gone under because we had a couple of buy it nows on the live option. Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. Um, the very first of the silent, which is the 200 lots is going to close at 915. 
The next lots are gonna close, it's the 300 lots at 930. The lots after that, the 400 lots are gonna close at 945. So that means you got pieces on all the lots, you love them, you're gonna be fiercely bidding, you're gonna do some buy it nows, why not? Just go ahead and go for buy it now and then you can go have another drink and not worry about it, not for your phone and make sure it's coming through. That's right. Really, you've seen these artists, they told you what art spend means to them. We're telling you what you mean to us. It's a really beautiful, as DK Haas said from the very beginning, you give and you get, yeah. you give and you get. You saw me buy a piece of art right here on the fly <laughs> with my phone. And um, as, as Renee said, you know, often, you know, auctioneers don't really get to do that, but as a charity auctioneer, you get to, you know, have some booze and, you know, <laughs> bid against the things that you're trying to sell from the stage. And I, I really, honestly, all of you being here, Renee, you being here, all the support, all, all the staff, all the artists, it takes a village to keep a community interesting and engaged and caring. And we miss you out of the Bay Area, but you're not that far. Look at you, you're just right here. You're in my, you're right, you're like right in my home right now, actually. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm closer than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, this may I really say, true. um, the, the, the um, raise your paddle, you know, that's that button still works if anybody wants to go over there at any point. But I want to say a couple of thank yous to folks who raised their paddle and uh, donated um, to the fund to need. And that's Sajel Hall. Thank you for your thousand dollar donation. Um, Renee DiCarlo Johnson, a hundred dollar donation and Michelle Monsoor, uh, a fifty dollar donation. So any any amount that you can give, you can do so there at any point um, uh, this evening. So I just wanna remind people about the raise your paddle. <laughs> You're so good, Renee. You know, really, honestly, I'm, it is really, I mean, during this time of COVID, I, I, I say like, it's been so challenging. We're all isolated, things have been weird. And I talk about these COVID blessings and the things that are actually making the world a better place forever because of it. And the fact that you be here with us <laughs> from South Carolina means everything to me. It's a, a true blessing. and. I know that you are very busy. You have done a lot in your career. You've done a lot with your life. You give so much to so many. And the fact that you continue to say yes when we say, will you be our auctioneer MC? It's really, I mean, it, it's one of the best things that happens every year. So thank you so much for what you do for us and for the whole world. Like you, you're involved in philanthropy and nonprofits <laughs> and that you say yes to us means a lot. Thank you so well, much. Well, I can't thank my San Francisco artists enough for, for making art, creating art, sharing art, and making the world a better place with your art. So thank you to everybody for continuing to make the art that we enjoy every day and making the world a little bit more beautiful. <laughs> thank you. It's really, it's so true. Yeah. And um, we're going to close it really soon. And just there's going to be some slides with art. There's going to be some information you may want to see. Most of you are going to be fiercely bidding, fiercely bidding looking at your rivals, looking at your friends, looking at your foes and your family and upbidding and going crazy. And we love that. Those of you who may be a little out of the area, remember we do have delivery options available. You just need to let us know. You're gonna contact Randy Figures and have him deliver your work. We have ship art, shipping your art, which is amazing. So those of you out of the area, we can get it to you safely. And those of you who are local, come see us and say hi and pick up your art because we've all been, <laughs> isolated for far too long and we love to say hello. so really um thank you thank you from the bottoms of our heart and again there is no place like home as we know so well during this time so please continue to buy art bring it into your home appreciate it that it's there once again like i said there's no place like home dorothy figured out that of her entire story the tin man he found his heart the scarecrow found his courage and the no the lion found it? the courage the scarecrow no, the lion found, found, found the courage that's so funny the scarecrow yeah and the brains oh right <laughs> the, the, thank you i was so funny because i didn't talk about the things they find you know that's why it takes two of us to do this i mean really it's normally renee i'm just here because i'm here so thank you hearts brain courage home that's what matters thank you all for being here and we're just going to sign off now. Let us go into a slideshow of the art that you've been buying, buy it now, seeing, and some information about what you made. So thank you, Renee. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, the team, everybody. Good job. See you guys yeah. next year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
I got good at wasting time I think I got good at just counting days I think I got great at your goodbye And repurposing the nights to dull the pain How could I know you don't care? How could I assume Just a girl that ran after a man with the shoes tied together again. Think I got good in double lives. I think you got good at just sex and shame. I think you got great in my goodbye And maybe even like that rush of pain How could I know you don't care? How could I assume that all you think about Is her when I'm not there? How could you stay? How could you dare? Am I just a girl that ran after a man with her shoes tied together again Two 
rustic girl that ran after a man with her shoes tied together again.